What is up, YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back. So today I'm going to take another look at Anastasia. Uh, this is an artist I discovered, um, well, actually looking at somebody else. I was looking at uh, uh, Toto uh, doing Hold the Line, and it was uh, it was uh, not a not the early version. It was a later version of them. I, it looked like it was some kind of maybe some kind of reunion concert or some kind of special occasion. Um, and she was on stage with them singing. Um, and then I found um, where she did a cover of White Snake, um, Here I Go Again, uh, which was pretty good. It was pretty epic. Um, and it was, uh, and so this is, uh, this song is her own song. It's called Left Outside Alone. And this was recorded, it looks like in the same recording session as the, as the, as the, uh, White Snake song that she recorded, the BBC Piano Room. So um, yeah, I wanted to check out something by her um, and see what this is about. So um, and I've learned a lot about from different comments about her and how she's. Uh, I think somebody said she was blacklisted in the United States um, early on in her career, um, which. If usually if you're blacklisted by the music industry, it's because probably because she wouldn't sign a, her life away to some recording studio. Um, and back in those days, um, you know, even, you know, 15 years ago, if you, you didn't sign a recording contract, you didn't get heard because um, the, 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 the studios control what music went out on the, onto the market and went out to the radio stations that, that people listen to. So um, I guess that's one of the good things about YouTube is a lot of artists can promote themselves and not have to worry about something else. So, um, but um, from everything I've been able to tell, she's pretty big in England and other parts of Europe. So good for her for taking her career into her own hands. So uh, yeah, let's check this out. heard this song before.
Yeah, I, I've heard that song before. Um, didn't know it was her, didn't know who it was. But, uh, yeah, I guess, that's, I guess that's probably one of her most popular songs because I've heard it and I, I, I... It's one of the songs I've heard. I don't even know where I heard it, but I as soon as she starts singing, I was like, oh, yeah, I know this song. Um, so the whole time I'm sitting there watching this, I, I, I kept looking at that drummer. He kind of reminds me of a younger... Young version of uh, the, the drummer in Death Leopard. That's, that's, I don't know why that jumped into my mind, but uh, yeah, she's um, yeah, that's a that's a I I have to go look and see how po popular that song was because it must have been super popular if I heard of it and not even knowing who it is. It's not like it was something like a top of mind for me, but uh, you know that's that's probably one of her most popular songs. So um, yeah. She's got that. She's got that ras. That's the best way to put it. She's a ras and sass kind of thing going on. So, um, yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to see if I can check out something else for her. Um, but uh, I love watching artists kind of when they have the opportunity to really perform with 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 all the components, you know, of of the music, you know, when it, which is you know having an orchestra or part of an orchestra there. Um, to 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 do her song, I think is probably pretty cool. Um, you know, whereas a lot of times artists, you know, they have, you know, they may have a stage band or they may have uh, sometimes they even have pre-recorded music, but to have a an orchestra there with violins and harps and backup singers, it's got to be pretty 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 special for an artist. So anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment down below. And if you found this interesting, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see you later. Bye.